he is the most mysterious assassin in Russia, he slowly took out two scimitars, waiting for the arrival of the enemy. When the enemy is about to approach, an instantaneous movement is a knife to the car. Because the speed was so fast, the enemy hadn't reacted, and the car split apart instantly. When spotted by the enemy, he starts instantaneous movement, which is as fast as lightning. His superpower is invisibility, and the scimitar is his nirvana. He ended the fight in just 20 seconds. He is Sanzar of the Fantastic Four, the fastest. Sanzar can only be ranked second in the Fantastic Four. The other three are Arsis, who controls the stone. He can absorb stones all over his body, and then lightly hit the ground. The ground splits instantly. This half-orc, he is extremely powerful, and vulnerable, so people call him Zashtitniki. This Nia with stealth ability, Nia's stealth can invade the interior of the enemy army. On this day, the military discovered that the laboratory was abnormal. Dr. Vic was infected by chemical substances in an explosion, which caused a gene mutation and became a villain. He controls the latest robot developed by the military, and the energy sensor worn by Vic can manipulate any metal. Vic controls the army's tanks and artillery and starts the war. The Russian army quickly held an emergency meeting. Colonel Lina, who was wearing a military uniform, suggested that if you want to eliminate Vic, you must fight with superpowers that can only find the Fantastic Four. Then Colonel Vic found them and explained the situation. The Fantastic Four agreed on the spot. After the Fantastic Four received the mission, they came to the Animus Lair. Nia slowly disappeared, and the other three teammates also transformed. I saw that Zaschitnikov's pupils began to blacken, and a beast's arm evolved, and his body muscles expanded rapidly, turning into a big bear. At this time, Nia sneaked into the Animus interior, but the enemy discovered Nia through thermal imaging. When Nia walked under the pipe, the enemy fired wildly at the pipe. Nia was frozen into an ice sculpture, while Zashtitniki rushed directly at the enemy, punched one of them, picked up his neck and smashed to the ground. Knocking down a person, kicking him flying, grabbing a person's head with a punch, an uppercut, and another backhand punch. Bullets have no effect on Zashtitniki. Caught two people, pushed them out, and knocked down three people. But the more and more enemies fought, Zashtitniki was quickly arrested. And Sanzar also started to attack frantically, with lightning speed, the enemy couldn't see Sanzar clearly. Sanzar went down with a knife and kicked, one person flying, and one flashed behind the enemy. Sanzar's crazy instantaneous movement, Sanzar killed all the enemies with a machete. Just as he retracted the knife, the sniper shot him in the arm, and injected anesthetic into Sanzar's body. Soon he was down. Only Captain Arsis remained. He manipulated the stone, attacked continuously, and then absorbed the gravel to his body, instantly turning into an invulnerable stone man. A savage charge followed, knocking a group of enemies into the air, and finally Arsis saw Vic. Arsis took control of the stone and attacked him, but this damage did nothing to Vic. Arsis was instantly knocked down by Vic. Vic walked up to Arsis and lifted him up. Arsis' lumbar disc broke directly. And, just like that, the Fantastic Four were all wiped out. The Fantastic Four are imprisoned by Vic. Just when they were desperate Colonel Lina brought someone in and rescued them. In order to enhance the combat effectiveness of the Fantastic Four, Colonel Lina built a high-tech armor for them. Sanzar's battle armor is invulnerable to weapons, water and fire. When Sanzar faced the wooden stake in front of him, he slowly drew out two scimitars, and then used instantaneous movement to hit all the targets. Sanzar's armor is really powerful, all the stakes fell down. And Nia's stealth ability has been greatly improved in an instant. And our sub battle armor is also very special, and he also wears a lightning chain whip, which can even hit himself if he does not operate it properly. Dashjitniki does not have high-tech armor, because its lots are too big to wear. But, equip him with a Gatling with its own aiming, and everything is ready. A new generation of Fantastic Four debuted. Vic wants to control the Russian signal tower. He uses his superpower to transmit to the signal tower, and then uses the signal tower to transmit to the satellite in space. If successful, all biochemical weapons in the world will be controlled by him, and the goal of world domination can be achieved. In order to prevent nuclear war, Zashtitniki ran towards the enemy. When the enemy spotted him, he knocked the two into the air. Facing the oncoming enemy, Zashtitniki took out his Gatling, fired at the front, and threw people into the air. Taking out Gatling is a shot. When hit by a cannonball, it evolves into a third form. When the enemy slowly approached it, a bear carrying Gatling rushed out instantly, shooting while running like this. Then he took Nia and ran all the way to the top of the building to meet Arsis. Then a few people walked towards the signal tower when they were discovered by the enemy and shot at them continuously. Arsis used his shield to block the damage. Sanzar jumped directly from the plane, shooting a steel wire, which was fixed on the tower. Take out the scimitar and cut off the pipe. After solving a few people, Sanzar's instantaneous movement came to his teammates. 
Then they successfully reached the signal tower, and Vic appeared in front of them. Sashjitniki wants to shoot Vic. Sashjitniki is controlled by a superpower. Vic knocked them down directly. At this time, Nia grabbed Arsis, and the two became invisible together, and Arsis tied him with a lightning ring whip. Sansar saw the opportunity coming, he drew his machete. Vic broke free instantly and sent several people flying. Sashjitniki roared and rushed towards Vic, only to be knocked down by Vic. Sansar threw the scimitar in his hand onto the plane, tying up his teammates. The plane took several people and fled here. Although several people were saved, task was not yet completed. Vic will soon be reactivating the transmission towers, taking control of the satellites, and wiping out humanity. At this time they thought of the last way, that is to gather the strength of all people together. A blue ball of energy slowly expanded, and they exhausted all their strength. The energy ball was sent out, hitting the signal tower. The signal tower collapsed instantly. Vic died under the collapse of the signal tower, and the crisis was resolved. This is the end of the film, and the exciting next issue will continue.